What do you think? Uh, Minister, fire infinite. Maybe it's just, just it's a sensational quotes, headline. It's yeah. a quote. Uh, fire maybe there, it, so. was, it was just what I learned that the minister was saying. I was not at that meeting. Uh, but what I learned he was saying was that uh, there should be less talk and more action from the Nigerian Football Federation leadership. I think that's basically what it is. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's about the, the head of, uh, this, uh, of sports in Nigeria talking to one of the heads of the, one of the parastosas that is under him. So I don't think that, uh, for me, is a, is a serious issue. I think we should tackle more important issues like rediscovering the Super Eagles and of course uh, hoping and wishing that uh, the Super Falcons, I heard Kisu speak a while ago about uh, the Super Falcons uh, and how they will do well against Senegal. We have, uh, of recent, we have not been doing well at the women's football level, except, except we are deceiving ourselves. We didn't qualify for the Olympics, we didn't qualify for several events. I hope that they can start the discovery process through uh, Florence or Mabimi. Yeah. I respect her very well. Same and I, I think we can, that, that is basically what I think. Okay. 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 All right. So uh, let's, let's stay with football, but I'll come back home now. Uh, the papers have so much to talk about. We also have so much to talk about in Nigeria, professional football league. And after March day 10, if I know about, uh, they pushed off Enugu Rangers uh, by just a point. They are on top of the table, uh, followed by Enugu Rangers. And um, you also know Rivers United doing so well. MFM not doing badly, but they're beginning to feel uh, reality right there at the Nigeria Professional Football. We'll get ready for March Day 11. Okay, for this weekend fixtures, you have Kurudu United and Sunshine Stars will be in action. Kurudu, just if they can get a win out of that one, they're playing at home. Academy Warriors and 3SC, Heartland and Rivers United, Kanu Pillars and Nassau United will also be in action. That's another big game, I think. Then Heartland and Rivers United, well, what's going to happen in that one? That's another big game we just have to look forward to. In other games, of course, you have uh, other teams also be in action. Plate United and Giwa FC. Abia Warriors and Lobby Stars and Aqua United and Niger Tenandos. Abia Warriors want to consolidate That's on right. that, still unbeaten in the league. And of course, for Aqua United, you're playing at home again. Just try and bounce back and give your fans something to talk about and try and win this one so that you so, get something really useful. Aimba was also been in action this weekend. Yeah. Uh, CAF Champions, Champions yeah. League. Yeah, yeah. yeah against Atoa Yes, tough one. Tough one. Yeah. It's a tough one. I think Aimba, <laughs> they must just win home. Don't concede. Yeah. Okay. If, if uh, 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 the coach and uh, Chifeli Zanyan Siago are listening now, if I were the coach, I said, don't concede. Even if you win by a, a long goal, it's better. A single goal. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you have, I mean, they've actually made about eight appearances in the CAF Champions League. 2002, they got to the second round. 2003, 2004, they were winners. That's and right. 2005, back back. group stage. 2006, group stage. That was when they started dropping. Then 2008, they bounced back again. Got the semi finals. Same in 2011, 2014, first round. And now this time, I'll be checking where they will be going to. And then the CAF Confederations Cup, they made just one appearance. And that was in 2010. And they got to the second round. Twice they won. 16. Yeah. On those two occasions, I was there live. Okay. I want to be there again this year. <laughs> okay, so Aimba, he says he wants to be it's there. A win. Now, taking a look at their own performance, and of course, they won up a turn to Sahel way, way better. Winners in 2007, run outs in 2004, and 2005. In the CAF Confederation Cup, they won in twice 2006 2015 and run up in 2008 for the african cup winners cup they won it in 1997 also 2003 calf cup winners in 1995 1999 run up 1996 and 2001 for the african super cup they won it twice also 1998 and 2008 runners up 2004 2007 and of course 2016 that's talking about the third style now their coach has been with them since 2004 2014. Wow. I was like two years now. And mm. the coach of Aimba, well, this is a new well, one. Bogun. Yeah. He's just new. But also trusted. Also trusted. Trusted well. and tested. Yeah. yeah and, 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 and what I like about Paul Aigbogun is put him in a team. He takes his time, understands that team. When he is into that team, 
the star winning. It's getting into it. And Emba is the champions team already. They understand. They have we, the want, we want to watch the final live. You and I. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> we're going to lie prophesied. So you have to start supporting yeah. them from the game they're playing on. So we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Okay, at 4 p.m. Yeah. So the prophecy is that Emba will make it to the final. We'll be at Mr. Baka Stadium on If I'm not there physically, I'll be there. The Nigerians just go there and support him, but they need all the support that they can. That's right. Let's go on with the show now. Let's talk some boxing. Is Timothy Bradley and Manny Pacquiao again? Everyone is talking about it we should talk about it incredible stuff i mm. mean this weekend alone fight fans are in for a great time two world title fights look at that tim bradley versus manny pacquiao okay. and you have anthony oluafemi <laughs> ola shaney joshua <laughs> taking on prince charles yeah but first of all we'll talk about the um manny pacquiao <laughs> versus um tim bradley they fought three times already mm. and um it's one one so whoever wins this one will be the winner in quote and to where 37 pacquiao 32 um tim bradley um heights they're very similar in height um, but what's very interesting to me there is the uh, knockout, knockout and percentage. Yes. And Pacquiao's got a lot more power than uh, Tim Bradley. So for me, in this one, Austin, I don't know about you. I think mm. Pacquiao has what it takes to win I convincingly. I, I, I don't, I'm not thinking. I know. You know. Pac-Man, yeah. okay. We'll win this fight and then give another approach to us fighting Floyd Mayweather. Awesome. Jr. So we'll go next do, to do the... Do you want my comments mm. on that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I think Senator... Senator Pac-Man. Is that what you said? Yeah. Senator Pac-Man will win this. Uh, yeah. Senator Pac then, <laughs> then he goes on and retires. And retires and, and goes comes to Comes back to fight. <laughs> no, he's not coming back to fight. No, no, Let's go straight back. to the other world. Yeah. These are for the Charles big, Martin. big men. Charles wow. Martin, also known as Prince Charles, will take on Anthony Joshua. It's for the IBF um, title. And... Um, <sighs> This guy, I mean, Anthony Joshua, ever since he won that gold at um, London well, 2012, <laughs> he's been, you know, touted as a future world champion. Right. After just 15 fights, mm. he's going to have a chance against Charles Martin from America. And I always go to that knockout percentage again. These are 100%. guys that really eat hard. 100% <laughs> knockout rate for um, Anthony Joshua, 88% for Prince Charles. And... Um, Austin, this one is very, very hard to call. I Heavyweight think, fights are very hard know, to call because if you land a solid punch, that could be light out. And uh, for whoever <laughs> it connects on, seriously. Well, I think, I think you called you call Lulu a while ago, so yeah. I'm, I'm supporting Joshua. Okay, that's because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because he's been fighting well. He has a hundred percent to it. Yes, I mean, uh, if you go to school. And you have, I'm, I'm having a hundred percent. I am having it here. If they are going to give somebody a prize, it's yes. going to be the person who had hundred percent. I mean, also look at that knuckles. That's the knuckles. He's actually injured in that one because he has knocked out about twenty-one opponents in wow. twenty-four fights. Two of them he actually defeated straight down and just one draw. So I mean, he's but got the advantage. But I think he's all knockout. Yeah, okay. He's all knockout yeah, also. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's all knockout. I'm talking about more than twenty-four fights and twenty-one can, can opponents knockout. Yes, That's so what I'm like, looking. I'm looking at numbers of fights. Yes. Because for Anthony Joshua to be able to get this one, he said something that looks twenty-four fifteen. It's not too. It's not. It's not. It's not too. It's not too different. You can fight some. Uh, you know, no not, namers. No namers now, yeah. uh, now, but, but he has been fighting. I mean, he's been consistent fighting yeah. big. Uh, I, I, I tip Joshua. 15 straight. And <laughs> when I come here next week, you will tell us. I want to tell okay, you that. Okay, okay. Now, I, if he I gets to win this one, yeah. there's Tyson Fury waiting because yeah. you yeah. want to unite. There's also Deontay Wilder also. Mm. That one has a I'm always WBC. scared of Fury. And of course, you have Fury having always... WBO and yeah. WBA. So and this is the IBF. So maybe let's, 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 let's get past Charles Martin. And First of all, Anthony before you Joshua. start looking ahead, right. and one more thing on boxing before we go, Austin. Um, we finally, according to Team Fury, we're going to get um, a decisive date for the rematch between Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury today. We'll beat Klitschko hmm. again. Okay. We're going to get that wait. date. What? Negotiations no, have been we'll left. Klitschko again. Okay. If they fight 20 times, we'll beat Klitschko 20 okay. times. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait for that one. Well, thank you so much for being part of, of the program. Of course, that's actually both of them there. Thank you so much for being part of the program. I'm Cecilia Among with, of course, wishing the Super Falcons a good game this evening. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. I'm Tayo Salam. Okay, today, uh, officially, I can call him uh, Prophet Ben Alaya. Uh, he made two prophecies. Uh, he said, hey, I'll get to the final. And then Anthony Joshua will win uh, oh. his fight. Thank you so much, Ben Alaya, for coming around. Next Thank week, you. Friday, we'll delight. get to know the result <laughs> of your prophecy. And from me, Austin Okunakwa, thanks for doing this with us. Keep talking to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, and on Facebook for channels, I think, sports. Bye for now.